Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this video, I will quickly show you how to use one single slicer to control three pivot tables. For example, here you see three pivot tables for sales of appliance, phone and TV for various quarters of the years 2015, 2016 and 2017. Here on left you see a slicer with the years options. Let's say if I wanted to see only the 2015 performance, I click 2015 and all the pivot tables and the pivot charts are updated only for the year 2015. Let's say I wanted to see 2017 and now the data you get is only for the year 2017 across all the pivot tables. How can we do it? Let's get to it. Here you see the pivot table for sales of an electronic store which has different segments appliance phone and tv for years 2015 2016 and 2017 i've shown how to create a pivot table the pivot chart and slicer in my previous videos the links to that is shown on the right as you see here is the sales data for the different years for all the segments let's say if i wanted to see the data only for the appliance segment i can select the appliance here and this will show me the data for the appliance section. Let's say I wanted to select for phone and this will show me the sales data of only the phone. What if I wanted to see all the data individually for each segment and also for all the years? I could do that by moving the segment to the column section. So let's say I select all here. This shows the data for all the sales. Let me just move the sales to bottom. Let's go to the pivot table field list. Right now you see the segment is in the filter section. I can move it to the column section. And now I can see the data for appliance, phone and TV individually across all the years and quarters. So this slicer is connected to this pivot table. If I wanted to see for the year 2015, I can see this data similarly for 2016, 2017 or all of them together. As you can see here, the information we want is available in the pivot table. However, the graph is not very good as there is too much information being displayed. How can we make it better? What if we could make a pivot table for all of these separately so that we can get the exact trend for each segment? So here is the pivot table. Uh, let me move the segment back to the filter section. So this is giving us the sales for all the segments. What I'm going to do is first copy the pivot table and paste it. Similarly, let me go to the column M or L and paste it again. And here in the segment, I'm going to select appliance. In the second pivot table, I'm going to select phone and in the third pivot table, I'm going to select TV. So the data you see in this chart is the appliance. Now let me make a chart for the phone. So I'm going to insert a chart 2D. And now let me insert a chart for the TV. So here we see three pivot tables, one for appliance, one for phone and one for TV. And below them are the respective sales in a pivot chart form. So I have the slicer connected only to the pivot table one right now, which is the one for appliance. So if I select year 2015, only the pivot table of appliance is getting updated for the 2015 and so is the chart. It would be great if I could connect the slicer settings even to the pivot table 2 and pivot table 3 so that when I select 2015 here, all the pivot tables and pivot charts are updated. This can be done easily. Let's just select the slicer here and now on the ribbon you'll have a slicer option and an option called report connections. You click on that and you will get the other pivot tables on this sheet which is the sheet 2. So just select pivot table 2 pivot table 3 and say OK. So now the slicer should theoretically be connected to all the three pivot tables. 
let's say I wanted to see the sales for year 2017. There you go. All the pivot tables, that is three, and the pivot charts are updated based on the selections that you make in this slicer. This technique is really useful in getting very customized reports for some specific parts of your data. This will also help you in creating excellent dashboards where the reporting is really customizable based on users options. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.